What's going on everybody? I am Neil Rosinski from Michigan League Volleyball Academy and I am here to show you how to use advanced event systems. So I'm here at www.advancedeventsystems.com. Uh, this is the homepage. This is exactly what you'll see. Hotels, events, and rankings up on top. I'm not going to get too in deep with that. I'm just going to want to help you find your schedule. Now there are multiple events happening through the states. So understanding the more specific it can be on finding your event, uh, the better. So I will go to the search bar and I'm looking for the 2024 Mizuno Lake Erie Club Power League. So I will type in the 2024. As you see, I have multiple things popping up, but not the one I'm looking for. The more I go in specific, the Mizuno, and now I got multiple Mizuno, and right on top happens to be the Lake Erie Club Power League. So that's perfect. I will click that event, and it will send me to this opening page. Now this page has got some general information. Not every event shows something. Uh, they might just show the divisions and stuff. This is mostly meant for coaches and clubs if they're looking for events, not too much for the spectator. But what you want is up on top here is to see this icon, the schedule posted. This link will send me to the next page, uh, which will give me to the schedules. Now, you might click an event and come here and this might not be here. Do not panic. All that means is that the event did not send the schedule out just yet. So it's not live, so they're still formatting and working on it. Uh, most events send them out the week of or the Wednesday. Uh, they usually keep in contact with the club directors and coaches for that kind of information. So this event does have the schedule up, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. And it'll send me to the next page, which is now the scheduling. I have all divisions here on the left, uh, pools and brackets, the list of teams, the standings, how they're doing during in the event, uh, going through. Uh, now I can go a little more in depth here and maybe looking for a team here. I could search it here if I wanted to. Just like I said before, if I type in Michigan Elite, as we know it's a big club, uh, there are multiple teams that have the Michigan Elite title. So obviously if I go more in depth with training 12 pipeline and all that, it will find them quicker. So that's one way to do it. The other way is obviously just going to this division area and I'm gonna go to the 15s and I will click pools and brackets. I'm here at pools and brackets and now I got the list of all the teams playing. So this is showing me everything that's going on and I'm just gonna sit there and search for my team. So I'm looking for Michigan Elite 15 Gold North. That's the team I'm looking for. I see that I am THSC7. Now what does that mean? It's my court number and my location. So there are some events that host in multiple sites and there are some events that host in just one site. If you're at one site, it might just say court one, court two, court three. If you're in multiple sites, they usually put the acronym of the site as the court number. Uh, if you don't know where THSC is, go to the websites of the event. I guarantee they're gonna be listed somewhere. Uh, your coach might know as well. Uh, THSC is listed here as Trinity Health Sports Center 7, so I know I'm playing at Trinity Health on court seven there. If you look at the team below here, they're at UWM SC, so they're at a different location, but they're on court one. So making sure to track that. Now I see my pool, but I don't see what my schedule is. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the pool sheet. And now it gets more in depth. It shows my records when we start playing each other. And then right here, it shows my schedules and times. So the first match for this pool starts at 3 p.m. And then it's against Mavericks versus Michigan Elite with Legacy Refing. And then the four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, so on and so on. Now, these are set three, four, fives, but, <clears throat> excuse me, schedules are mostly meant to just be on a flow. So that if that first game ends at 3.30, they're gonna start warming up and get them going. So games are, could be starting earlier than usual. Now, they can wait to the four o'clock, but mostly everyone tries to get moving uh, just to get a good flow. So if you do play at four o'clock, I suggest always being there a half hour to an hour early, just in case of any uh, changes do happen. Now, moving down here, we see future matches. Now, future matches, I can see here, if I took first, I'm going to round two on January 27th, or, and go so on and so on, or it could take me to a playoff. So understanding, 
always important when you finish your pool to look down here, see your team listed, and see where it sends you next. And you can see I can click on one of these. It'll send me to where I got to go. I might have to do a playoff game, or I might not play until tomorrow or a future date in the past. In, in the, in, excuse me, a future date. So this is a quick breakdown of just how I can find my team and moving forward. Once again, I can see standings and how everyone's doing. I can see just a list of teams. Um, you know, there's multiple ways to use it. Uh, this stuff you can use up here. I suggest, you know, you can go by clubs and stuff, but I think the most easiest way is always just going to home to find the divisions uh, and kind of go from there. Um, as for that, that is all I have for you today. I wish everyone the best of the season and I will see you guys all around. Take care.